For over 18 years, Guardian Angel Bassett Rescue has been providing wonderful homes for Bassett hounds. Fran Gray was the founder of Guardian Angel, and all she ever wanted for Bassett's was to have a loving home. This is a terrible situation. People are abandoning Bassett hounds, and they've got no place to abandon them, so we need to put together a place where people who don't want their Bassett's anymore, or Bassett's that are being abused, or Bassett's that are simply unwanted, can be taken in, rescued, and found homes for. She ran into a, a couple named Larry and Emmy Little in Dwight, Illinois, and they were nuts about Bassett's too, and together they formed Guardian Angel Bassett Rescue. Guardian Angel Bassett Rescue believes they should help the dogs that are currently here rather than breeding more. We don't need to, to buy puppy mill dogs and encourage that sort of inhumane, inhuman, soulless ex exploitation of, of wonderful dogs, and instead adopt out the ones that are already here make sure that those that are here get good homes. No rescue can operate without money. Gabber uh, spent this year, has spent so far this year, a million and a half dollars on veterinary fees. Due to the amount of money that is spent to keep the Basset Hounds healthy, Guardian Angel must be funded. What Larry Little did, being a shrewd businessman himself, he said, if we're going to have a rescue, we're going to make sure that we have enough money to keep it, to make it ongoing long after we're gone, Guardian Angel Bassett Rescue will st still be here because we're going to fund it. An exciting and fun event that is held by Guardian Angel yearly is known as the Bassett Waddle. The sign coming into Dwight says, Home of the Bassett Waddle. Every year uh, in September, uh, there are two or three thousand animals there, Bassett hounds and their owners, and they march down the main street of, of Dwight, Illinois, leading off the Harvest Home Parade for the city. Basset hounds are lovable, friendly, and intelligent dogs. Basset hounds are the hush puppies. If you've ever seen one sitting down with its long ears hanging down and its little paws sticking out like this, looking at you with those big brown eyes, you'll understand the appeal. Nothing is more fulfilling than providing a Basset Hound with a safe home. I just rescued a dog. His name is Barkley. There was this horrible looking dog who was starved literally to death. If they hadn't, if they hadn't brought this dog in, into the rescue within two days of the time that picture was taken, it would have been dead. Some mindless scum had taken that dog and for the first year and a half of its life had starved it. It was literally bones covered with skin. Its, its poor old head was hanging down, it had a big cut on its nose, and it looked like the, the saddest thing I've ever seen. And I said, Emmy, I'll take that one. And she said, I thought so. And then she sent me the next picture, which was him three months later, happy, you know, you for, filled out, um, yeah, back in good Alzheimer's. health. And, um, and I said, good, when can I have him? The last 20 years I've had Bassett's. My last Bassett died a year and a half ago. And my heart breaks every time a dog dies because dogs for me become part of my family. I don't have children at home. What I have is a basset hound at home and a wife at home. All animals want a loving, caring, and affectionate family that can treat them right. We're those nutty Americans who think that, that animals are precious, they're creatures of God, and we're supposed to take care of them. For Midstate Magazine, I'm Matthew Blitzstein.